wrestlers in the world with 11 world championships. And he is the current All Elite Wrestling TNT champion. And he'll be right here this Saturday as AEW makes their Peoria debut with a double taping of their shows, Saturday Collision and Rampage. Now you may know him as Aries in the new Percy Jackson and the Olympian show on Disney Plus, or you may know him as the ultimate opportunist. But above all, he is the rated R superstar, Adam Copeland. Hello. Thank you for joining hey, uh, us. I, I have a lot of nicknames, I just realized. <laughs> when you're running all those down, I was like, wow, there's, yes. I, got, I got a lot of nicknames. <laughs> Quite a few, yeah. So people obviously are well known, and those are just some of the names that people call you. But you've been professionally wrestling since 1992, but it was in 2011 that your career was unexpectedly cut short due to unfortunate several neck injuries. Then you returned to the ring in 2020, and now you are AEW's TNT champion. Did you ever imagine that your career was going to turn out like this today? No, no, not at all. Um, you know, all I ever wanted to do was be a professional wrestler. So that, that was the only thing on my docket. I never had any aspirations to be anything else. Uh, so when it was kind of pulled out from under me in 2011, I had to kind of really get to work mentally and emotionally going, okay, what, what's next? And that's when acting kind of fell in my lap. And throughout the years of acting, I, I started putting the work in on my neck until finally uh, come 2020, I was able to come back. But if you had told me I'd be able to come back, uh, come to AEW, uh, do all the things I'm doing at the age of 50, I'd say you're probably pretty crazy. <laughs> I would imagine. And so many say that your move to AEW was unexpected. So how did you decide that this was the place you needed to be right now? Uh, you know, for me, I, I looked at where I was with WWE and I, I kind of done everything there was to do. And it felt like it was just time for both of us to kind of move, move on and move in a different direction. And I looked at the AEW roster and I looked at a, a new company um, where I could come and, and perform with a bunch of talent that I'd never laid hands on before. So I looked at the roster and it was just from top to bottom, but 98% of the talent I'd never performed with. And, and that to me was really exciting because again, at this age, this stage, I look for challenges. And um, and, and this looked like a, a really fun challenge to try and sink my teeth into. And it's been a blast. I mean, I, I've wrestled so many different styles since I've come back already, just in the time that I've been TNT champion. So it, it's been it's been a whole lot of fun in trying to keep up with people half my age. <laughs> All right, now you talked about the roster. You talked about those relationships with everybody in AEW. So you've had a pretty intense rivalry with your former best friend, Christian Cage. You and Cage basically started together and have had a very similar career, even winning tag team gold together. So what was it like getting to do a feud with him? Uh, it was so much. Yeah, it was great, honestly. Um, you know, we've known each other for 40 years. We met in the sixth grade and, um, you know, we predate uh, both getting into this industry together, but it's both the only thing both of us ever wanted. So to get to do it at this stage in the game, when I feel like mentally we're the best that, that we uh, have been as performers, um, it, it's really fun, you know, to, I, I keep saying fun, but at this stage of, of my life, I don't want to do it unless it's fun. And um, so far, the entire experience, the uh, the, the story with Christian, um, just all of it. I, I've been having a blast. I really have. So hey, fun is the most important part here, I believe. Mm -hmm. And so you've said yeah, that it doesn't feel like work. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> the great part about it. And so you've stated in the past that you don't know how long you'll be doing this. So who are some people you'd like to step in the ring with before you call it quits? Oh, man. I Again, I looked at that roster. And I was like Samoa Joe, Swerve Strickland, Hangman hey Adam Page, John Moxley, Brian Danielson, Claudio, Eddie Kingston, FTR, the Young Bucks. Uh, there's just Okada. There's so many talent in, in so much talent in this uh this company in this locker room that again i've never even touched all of those people are, are brand new fresh matchups that's really fun you know and and i'm sure in peoria it's going to be someone brand new because I, I haven't wrestled any of these these folks you know at this stage so it, it's it's really uh it's always fun to come to work to see what's going to happen yeah, well, some of those names that you even mentioned, like Eddie Kingston, you're teaming up with them this weekend and Mark Briscoe in a trios match to take on the House of Black. So how do you prepare both physically and mentally for a big match like that? Uh, you know, it, it's one of those deals where, where mentally you don't really, you know, dial in, at least me, um, until the music hits. And up until then, it's really just I, I keep it loose, make sure I stretch. 
Um, and, and, you know, I put the work in day in and day out, you know, I, I maintain my, what I eat, I maintain my, my workout regimen. And, uh, so it, you kind of always have to stay prepared with this job because there's no off season. Right. So, um, the, the, the work, uh, is, is kind of constant in the everyday life so that when it comes to time to put on spandex, you feel like you can put it on and not embarrass yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that. Well, you're doing great. But the night before you had that big match, you'll be right here in Peoria for Saturday Night Collision. So what can fans expect to see from you this weekend? I I don't even know, um, but I you know I'm going to be out there, and um, it's it's AEW's debut, so we're, we're guaranteed to put on a good show. Um, what I love about this company is it's just so youthful, it's so young. Speaking from the 50 year old guy, right? But uh, <laughs> to me, it's reinvigorating. And um, sorry, my dogs are popping in to say hi. Uh, so it, you'll just see a lot of action, and you'll see stuff that human beings. Um, I, you know, I watch some of our talent. And it, it boggles my mind that it's possible to do the things they do. Um, so you'll you'll see a good full night of action that I can guarantee. I can imagine. I know we are all so excited for you to be here and to watch everything that's going on. But AW Collision and Rampage are coming to the Peoria Civic Center for the first time this Saturday, April 20th. And you aren't going to want to miss a seeing this guy perform live. Tickets are available at AEWTix.com. And Adam, we want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk to us today. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Of course. And good luck on your trios match this weekend. And of course, we'll be able to share all of these details you just heard here on our website, CIProud.com. Just click on the WMBD This Morning tab under News.